form level JavaScript is handled quite differently in CRM 2011. If we look at an account, we can see that there is an address type. The business requirement is that when the address type is changed to primary, then the city should be a required field. This requires JavaScript on the form. So we'll go to customization. And normally we would just go to the entity, to the account, go to the form and put our JavaScript on the form. But with CRM 2011, we have to put our JavaScript in a web resource and then address that web resource from the form. So let's create a new web resource and I'm just going to call it account JavaScript. and make it a type of JScript and then save it. Now that I've got this web resource container I can put my JScript inside that container. CRM 2011 uses different syntax for JScript I won't go into that in this video. The old JavaScript still works, but it's recommended to use the new format. So we need to create a function, and within that function, we'll put our code. If the address type is not null, then check to see whether the address type is primary. If it's primary, make the city required, otherwise make it not required. We click save, save the container, and then we need to publish it before we can use it on the form. So if we now go to the form, open the form, then open the address type field, we go to events, we say this is the web resource we're using, and then down on the on change event, we're going to put in our function name. And we can see that it's going to be triggered on change. Let's preview that and see whether our code works. We select primary and we've now got the red asterisk next to city which indicates that this is a required field. So we can close the preview. We also need to put the same function on the onload so that if a record already has the primary as the uh, field type, then it's going to make the city required. So we'll save the form and then we'll publish it. Now if we go to our sales accounts again, open up an account, and select the address type. Notice that it's not required at the moment. Select primary, the address that the city becomes required, 
If we select a different type, the city is no longer required. So I'll save that record. Let's go to another account. This account already has the primary as the address type, and so notice that the city is already a required field. So I wouldn't be able to blank that city out and save the record. You can contact Professional Advantage by telephone, email, request a sales contact, or you can find more information on our website.